Hello and welcome to another Solash 2 tutorial. So today we're going to be looking at the skill leadership. So we've got the leadership skill here and you can pick this from the start as a starting skill. I'd recommend if you do want to start with a second character because you already, you get one companion slot straight from the first level then you should pick this skill. And as you can see, I've already got up to level 20 at the minute and my maximum at the minute is 26. So I'm going to show you how to, how to recruit someone using the leadership skill and then how to train them up. So let's get, in, get into it. So first off, you need you will need some money to go and recruit. So let's just go into my stash and I will transfer some gold. So let's take 500 out, that'll do. And then next you want to go onto the world map. And then you want to find a settlement. So I quite like this settlement down here, this keep here with the dwarves. So let's travel down to here. We'll enter this region, then we'll ask someone where the recruits are. Let's ask this fella here. So ask for directions. So you want to find like the barracks where the army is. So bandable barracks there on the Z minus two level. Okay, so select that, it will pop up on your mini map. So I want to go to Z minus two. So let's drop down these stairs as well. And the barracks should be just up here. Okay, so we found the barracks, so there should be some warriors in here that should be able to recruit. So let's talk to him. So if you click on one of these warriors, you should have um, one of the options on here to hire to party. So he is a shield sworn of Avora Thin Digger. So let's hire him and he will cost 487. So just click that, pay your gold, and there you go. As you can see on the left there, you have a follower. And I think I've actually got more gold. I've got 446 gold, but I have actually gone up a couple of levels on the uh, leadership, so I can actually recruit another companion. I can have the maximum two companions at the minute. So let's talk to this fella here. I hired to party. I haven't got enough gold for him. Let's see if I can recruit any of these. These are all a bit too expensive. Let's try this area here. So let's hire him to the party. No, he's 973. Wow, he must have some pretty good skills on him. There we go, 308 gold. So let's hire him as well. And there we go. So we've got Thorn Vera Blunt Bearer there. So we've got our two companions there. As you can see, their, their icons here are surrounded in the green circle. And they will just follow you as you go along now. Let's quickly head back to base. Okay, so we're back at our settlement now, and I'll show you now a quick way of leveling up your leadership skill. I mean, to start off with, if you haven't got any farms or anything to set up, you can just give them orders. So you just click on their portrait there and just select them, and you will move over there. And you can say, do the same when you're attacking enemies. Just click on their portrait, click on the enemy's portrait, and click attack, and you'll go and do it, and then you'll get skill points for giving them orders. I find one of the easiest ways to do it would be, because I've got a farm, I've got a barley farm there, where I've got a scythe. So I'm going to pass my scythe to Thorn Vera here. And then once they've got the scythe on, which means I can't, I haven't got the option to harvest these crops now. So what I need to do is click on Thorn Vera and then the harvest icon will show up on there. So let's select that and then just press R for rest and then it will go in harvest that crop and then he will you will actually get experience for that so i find that is the best way to do this and so just keep doing this all along he will pick up the 
resources after his credit as well. Let's just take a while because you've got to keep clicking, clicking on the portrait and then actually get him to harvest. But it's probably quicker than giving him directions when you're out. It's just easier way of leveling up. And you will level up your agriculture skill as well. I'll max mine out at the moment, so I'm not getting any skill points for it. But if you haven't, this will also maximise that skill as well. And there we go. So we're up on leadership skill. And what we're doing here is what, 10, 12 crops. So that's what I'd recommend. It's probably the easiest way to level up uh, your leadership skill. If you have a quick look at the skill itself. So leadership level 21 there. So I think for each order, I think you get like three XP. Uh, there we go, I've just unlocked first aid. So it gives me health regen change by five. That only applies to my party members. But that is probably the easiest way. There is other ways of doing it, like I said, we're giving the orders, but you can do this with other resources as well. If you equip them with an axe, say, you can you can order them to go and chop trees down or chop logs down, and you will get leadership XP with that as well. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the inventory. So if you go to your party, you can actually see, I've got my two followers here, and you can actually click on them and it tells you all their... Uh, what they're carrying in the back in the backpack and all the armor you can actually exchange items so if i had armor in here i could change a uh, drag and drop it into their portrait and then i could equip that armor to them as you can see there the barley grain that he cut he did pick up also and you can you can always unequip there so say he's got a nice amethyst dwarven, dwarven signet there i can actually take that and equip that myself And vice versa, you can do the same and copy his in. So let's give that back to him. There we go. And then we'll, with the companions, you also get skill points as well. So when you level up skill points, they will level up skill points also. But because we just recruited them, they do start off with a lot of skill points. So we've got 24 skill points on this one, so you could use that. However you want to build this, this character. Something he's going to be sort of tanky, so let's... Put a lot of it on the endurance and strength. Select that and the same with this oh yeah, this dwarf, he's gonna be a bit of a tank as well, so we can just set them. But it depends what build you're going for, really. You can just set it to whatever whatever you fancy. And also the good thing about having companions, they will help you build any constructions or they will plant seeds for you and they will any work that needs building basically they will do it and help you so if you if i go into the build menu and i wanted to say plant some more barley seeds on here let's just place them along there just fill all the gaps in on here okay so then if i just rest if i press r they will actually go and build that for you i mean i could help them i can jump in and do all this and we could do it all together so just a lot easier when you're doing a lot of farming as well. Or if you've got a lot of building or crafting to do. It just helps out with them being there. And if I didn't want to do it, I could just sit back and hold the rest button. And then just let them finish the work. And I will level up, so like I said, if I have got agriculture and points left then I will be leveling up that skill also by them doing that. And there we go, we've planted the seeds. Now it is quite helpful to have them. If you do want to have them from the start, I'd recommend picking the leadership skill. You can always start off with one. I think the maximum you can get is three. I think that's on level 30, yeah. So you can have up to three companions. If you do not start with the leadership skill, then the only way to get it would be through the... Uh, where is it? It's through the hunting. So if you get to level 32 on the hunting, you get one animal companion. And then you can start using 
start um, telling them what to do and that will improve your leadership skill and you will get XP from it. And I think that is another one actually as well. I think it's on carpentry. On carpentry. No, it's on, it's gotta be on construction. Yeah, I think it's on construction because you get a golem that you can build and you can be your, your companion there. And there you go. So level 40, you can get a golem companion at level 40. So if you start giving him orders, you will get XP for the leadership skill as well. So it take a while to get to them if you haven't, if you do not start with it. So I'd recommend starting with it if you do want a companion. Um, they do come in handy, you can build them. They're quite, depending on what race you go for, they can be quite tanky and quite powerful. So I would recommend starting with it. But I think that's it for this tutorial, guys. I appreciate you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, drop us a like. If it is going to help you out, uh, drop a like, drop a sub to the channel. I really appreciate it. I've done a couple of other videos on the settlement. I will put them in the link below. So make sure you go check them out. And I appreciate you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.